This video will take you to Rome, Italy and give you some information and a walk through the famous Pantheon. Welcome to Rome, Italy and the Pantheon. The first thing I notice are the huge columns. The 16 massive Corinthian columns supporting the portico weigh 60 ton each. They are 39 feet or 11.8 meters tall, five feet in diameter and brought all the way from Egypt. In front of the Pantheon is the beautiful fountain of the Pantheon. It was designed by famous architect Porta in 1575 and sculpted out of marble by Leonardo Sormani. The Pantheon is a former Roman temple, now a Catholic church, or Basilica of St. Mary of the Martyrs in Rome, Italy, on the site of an earlier temple commissioned by Marcus Agrippa during the reign of Augusta. It was rebuilt by the Emperor Hadrian and probably dedicated around 126 AD. The building is cylindrical with a portico of large granite Corinthian columns, eight in the front rank and two groups of four behind, under a pediment. A rectangular vestibule links the porch to the rotunda, which is under a coffered concrete dome with a central opening, the oculus, to the sky. Almost 2,000 years after it was built, the Pantheon's dome is still the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome. The height of the oculus and the diameter of the interior circle are the same, 43 meters or 142 feet. Look at the seal. There it is. Oh. We slant the floors because rain does come through it. We're big in the marble. The Italians love the marble. Carrera. Carrera marble. Top notch. What's the matter for you, uh huh? It is one of the best preserved of all ancient Roman buildings, in large part because it has been in continuous use throughout its history. And since the seventh century, the Pantheon has been in use as a church dedicated to St. Mary and the Martyrs but informally known as Santa Maria Rotunda. The square in front of the Pantheon is called Piazza della Rotunda. The Pantheon is a state property managed by Italy's Ministry of Culture. In 2013, it was visited by over six million people. The Pantheon's large circular dome with a conventional temple portico front was unique in Roman architecture. Nonetheless, it became a standard exemplar when classical styles were revived and has been copied many times by later architects. Upon entry, visitors are greeted by an enormous rounded room covered by the dome. The oculus at the top of the dome was never covered, allowing rain fall through the ceiling and onto the floor. Because of this, the interior floor is equipped with drains and it has been built with an incline of about 30 centimeters or 12 inches to promote water runoff. It is a bit of a mystery how the Pantheon managed to survive barbarian raids when all the rest of Roman monuments have been shattered. It's turning into a church in 1609 AD had a lot to do with it in later time but also the structure itself is way ahead of its time. In fact, the exact composition of the material is still unknown and appears to be structurally similar to modern day concrete. Whatever the reasons are, the Pantheon is the only structure of its age and size that has successfully survived the damage of time and gravity, still intact with all its splendor and beauty. Silence, please. Thank you. 
let us now take some time to examine the high altar in the Pantheon. Even today, almost 2,000 years after its construction, the breathtaking Pantheon is a remarkable building to see. The spectacular design, proportions, elegance, and harmony are a striking reminder of the architecture of the great Roman Empire. When Michelangelo saw this wonder for the first time, he said that it looks more like the work of angels, not humans.